Welcome to another video of Essex Fine Arts and Snotsville, because I probably can hear I've got a bit of a cold still, but um, it won't ruin the video, shouldn't do it anyway. Um, okay, we're going to go through uh, a lock flow. A lock flow is something that, that a lot of my students will do, or what I did with my sensei. It's, it's just a, it's a flow of locks and they flow together for a very good reason. One flows into the other, one someone fights out of a lock, you put them into another lock. Locks to me are great, great things. Uh, and it's, it's, again, it's only a small part of the puzzle. Um, you're not just gonna grab someone in a little wrist lock and they flip over 50 times like Steven Seagal films. It doesn't work that way. Um, so you'd have to damage someone first, you have to hit them first, give them an equalizer, then locks do have a, have a place. Um, some of the arm locks, I think, are better because you've got a hold of much more a larger limb rather than small wrist locks. But again, they've got their place; they do work. So, um, be a bit awkward to teach because you need to see the intricate details. My advice would be um, come down to the classes. Classes, the first one is free. Uh, for then onwards, really, we're at Allsit Village Hall. Tuesdays, eight to nine thirty. It's a wonderful hall. Uh, come along, meet the team, um, and then we'll go from there. We'll teach you as you go along. Doesn't matter if you complete beginner, even better because we've got a blank canvas there to work from um, and it's lots of fun, lots of brilliant concepts we can teach you as we go along. Um, we're going to bring in John, so we're going to go through lock flow. So again, John's going to just go for a lapel grab from here, good way to start, okay. So from here I'm just going to grab over the top, I'm going to grab underneath the hand there and just turn into what we call kotagashi. Now I'm going to take that a tiny bit further and just so it tweaks on so John can feel it, okay. From here, as John fights out of there, my thumb's going to go in the top here. As his elbow comes around, I'm going to re grip, slide down the arm, keep the elbow tucked down, and turn into Nikio. Okay. Now, I will apologise, I don't know the names of the other locks apart from this one and a few others, but, but the actual Japanese names I don't know. So from Nikio, we go a shoulder barge underneath from here. If I turn John around, you can see here, so the shoulder barge underneath here, I'm going to re grip the hand, going to come underneath here. Lift up, look through the hole there. I'm looking for a television there. Take John to his toes. Okay, from there, John will tap out. So you're just tweaking it a tiny bit each time so you know that lock's going on there, otherwise it's pointless. You've got to make sure it's sufficient and it works. From here we go straight down into lock from there. We grab the thumb, we come into a come along lock, so we come around to the front, we lock up from here. I'm keeping my hand on top here for a good reason. That comes up there, so we keep the hand on top there. I can just pull the come along lock on there. Okay, we then go from here, we go straight out into a brace. Okay, from here we come underneath, we drive the arm across, straight down, from there into a straight arm bar. Okay, as John comes to fight out from here, we come back up into a figure four. You see the four there, we come across into a figure four. If I turn John around again, and I can take him across this way. Okay, bring John back. <laughs> okay, so from here. The arm goes straight again, we come underneath, we grab the thumb, we come this time around behind John, pull the lock on from here, and I'm bracing it here, okay? We come around the front into a gooseneck, and bring John around again, moving John around the lateral place, from there into a gooseneck, and I can either put pressure here or here, okay, stopping this from coming up again from here, pressure goes on into gooseneck from there. We then come out into a straight arm bar again, brace the arm, come over the top, reach underneath snake, just above the elbow joint, or below the elbow joint, we come in here into a lock there. Finally, we've got arm entanglement. We cut in from here, and notice there, I'm cutting into the elbow. What I'm not doing, I turn John around, what I'm not doing now is grabbing the top of the arm here, much different. So from here, I'm cutting into the elbow here, I can grab into just between the shoulder joint there, or I can go into a neck brace from here. But from now, just pull into here, twist the arm away from the body, the lock goes on. Simple, got that? Good. Right, we're going to go again. So, this time. So, yet again, we're going to count through. So, we go one, Nikio, Nikio, or Kodagashi, sorry. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten to gooseneck, eleven is underneath from here and the twist from there, straight arm bar, and twelve comes into arm entanglement from here, or again into a spine lock from there. Okay, one more time, that'll be faster. Your wrist, alright? Yeah. 
Should be okay. Okay, so from here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve from there. Okay. So again, two shot. Uh, the intricate details there, there's a lot, lot in, quite a lot involved there. You need to be here to be able to actually feed it for one and also get your head in there and get your eyes in there and see what's going on because there's a lot of intricate details there and where to grab and fingers and such. But again, you're welcome to come down, uh, give us a call, look at the website. The website is uh, www.essexfightingarts.weebly.com. We're on Facebook and the Facebook page as well. We're on Instagram. Um, give us a call, come down, we'll see you then. Cheers.